will circle the area at different altitudes and distances. Everything is in readiness now, and at last the moment has arrived. The bombing plane is nearing the target with its escort of photographic planes. At sea below on one of the ships, Secretary of the Navy Forrestal is among the observers who patient the arrival of the bomb. Sunglasses are worn by some, while others hide their eyes. Position. There's the target. Bomb away. There it goes. The fourth atomic bomb has been successfully detonated. First you see a blinding flash. Then comes the hemispherically shaped cloud that expands rapidly just behind the initial pressure wave. After the smoke clears, the characteristic mushroom cloud begins to form and shoot skyward. The first phase of the bomb burst produces the effect of an exploding derby hat, where the outside edge of the rim outlines the outermost front of the pressure wave at that end. As in previous atomic tests, the drones are flying laboratories for the scientists. High above the test islands, they are in a strategic position to collect important information on the still not so familiar event, an atomic blast. Watch. services bring themselves up to date with the results of the latest atomic weapons. The men of science are thinking beyond current weapons. They are exploring new dusty. horizons. By comparison with data we got at Frenchman Flat, we hope our instruments here will tell us if the thermal absorption characteristics of a target affect the shock wave. Here we will also get a valuable check on the effect of the height of bursts on the development and effectiveness of the shock wave and Mach Y stem. Tumbler, shot two, 15 April 1952. The weapon for Tumbler, shot number two, is the same size as the one detonated over Frenchman Flat. Yield, one kiloton. Height of burst, 1,100 feet. This gave us a chance to detonate the same weapon over both a reflecting and non-reflecting target. 22 April 1952. Tumbler, shot three. Weapon yield, 30 kiloton. Height of burst, 3,500 feet. The same scaled height as shot number two. These two tests should together provide an excellent check on the normal blast scaling laws. the defense establishment produced their new height of burst curves. The Air Force dropped laboratory the and University of California Radiation Force. Laboratory at Livermore for the year and a half preceding Red Wing went into the design of smaller and lighter thermonuclear devices. In addition, we made strenuous efforts to reduce the size and weight of our fission weapons, perhaps at the expense of efficiency, to meet present and future requirements of small missiles, artillery, and ground-to-air missiles. Code name, Lacrosse, 39 kilotons. Code name, Cherokee, 3.8 megatons.
Osage, 1.7 kilotons. Erie, 15 and a half kilotons. Seminole, 13 kilotons. <laughs> 